the whole Keeneland team, we're, we're happy that, we're, that we got to this milestone event today, which is very important for us. And we're also going to be happy to welcome back all of our horsemen, uh, especially for this fall meet, but to a surface that's been met with great anticipation. All over the country where I've traveled and the trainers and the people that I've talked to uh, are looking forward to getting back to, to our classic races uh, this year and in the years to come. And the other thing that Keeneland's looking forward to is we're looking forward to collaboration and working with racetracks around the country as all of us continue to work together to make racing safer for our human athletes and our equine athletes uh, that are, that are uh, the, it's, it's what we're all about. It's the Keeneland mission. It's sharing. Uh, it's everything that has to do with the athletes and the safety of the athletes and the performance of those athletes. And we're glad to be back in that national discussion and being able to work with racetracks around the country to keep, that, uh, to keep uh, forwarding that mission of Keeneland's. They've committed to an ongoing effort to understand the moisture content of this track. So when the trucks, the water trucks come in, they're going to have instrumentation on them so we know the location of the truck, the amount of water that's being applied, and the speed they're traveling. By knowing that, we're going to know exactly how much water is going on the track. At the same time, there's going to be a meteorological grade weather station on site. And so putting together a model of the evaporation from the surface, which is going to be developed for as a part of a master's thesis, with the amount of water that's being applied, knowing the amount of rainfall, the idea is to tune in this moisture content of this track perfectly. Now, you know, this is good for them, but this is completely transferable. It doesn't matter where in the country you are or what other tracks you're working with. What they're doing is they're developing these methods so any dirt track or turf track in the country can begin to use these evaporation models. You know, that was the thing about synthetics. It wasn't necessarily transferable. You know, you couldn't, we had to keep working on the dirt tracks anyway because most of the tracks were always going to be dirt or turf. This, these innovations can influence the entire racing industry. The biggest single variable on dirt and turf tracks is water. You know, there are other things that have to be done. You have to grade it, you have to have a consistent surface, you have to have consistent material. But if you've got a consistent material, your objective needs to be to keep the moisture consistent. So the drainage system on this uh, has the potential to keep from having the, what they call crow's feet, where the drainage along the rail will tend to have the fast moving water and still be inconsistent along the rail. Huge innovation, because what it does is it gives the, the rider some more consistent track along the, along the inside rail so they don't tend to vary from, the material doesn't have to be vary as much. Reduces maintenance, but you know, you can never keep up with, after a rainstorm, the variation along the rail. So this is a huge innovation. It's, you know, it's down in the details, but it has, if we keep in mind that the single largest variable we have to deal with is moisture content of the track, then we uh, recognize that this really is an important innovation.